Expectations class. Uh, welcome to week number five. Um, we're going to start getting into the American Revolution. It's a two-part series we'll do uh, this week and next week. Um, looking at um, the you know, start of the world causes and uh, getting the real nitty-gritty of that. Um, the, the, sort of the birth of our nation. Finally, U.S. history getting into the start of our um, uh, country, which is odd because we're about five weeks in, which is like a third of the class. We're finally getting into the United States. Uh, so again, Carnes this week, chapter four, as well as Zin chapter four. Uh, and then we'll have a video uh, put together by the BBC, which is interesting because we spent a lot of time, you know, learning about the American Revolution through our eyes. It's uh, going to be a little different looking at it through the British or English eyes and uh, it'll give us a different perspective. So we're going to watch one of those this week as well too. Pay attention to the discussion question. There's a new one uh, that I'd like you to take a look at for this week uh, and obviously have that answered in a couple of paragraphs. And uh, the following week, of course, same deal. You're going to need to have two responses. So overall, looks like we did a pretty good job with the quiz. Uh, be advised, uh, you know, I understand I can't be there to hold your hand and uh, walk you through things, but also, um, you know, be, be advised that uh, I'm looking at your answers and, you know, if there's something that clearly was cut and pasted uh, from a website, uh, I'm going to give you a zero for that. So obviously plagiarism is a big no-no. If you have any questions about that, go ahead and just re review anything in the syllabus. There's a big section on plagiarism. Uh, taking your work that's, that you didn't write and then uh, taking credit for it. Uh, please don't do that. Uh, it, again, sometimes sometimes it's subtle. I don't catch it. But a lot of times it's pretty blatant when you cut and paste. So avoid that at all costs. Uh, so uh, it's never too early to start getting your uh, work in for uh, at least uh, your thesis or questions about your thesis for your final project uh, please email me I've only got a couple so far so uh, get a head start on that I might actually give you a list of potential um, subjects that I would like to see you guys do obviously you can do whatever you want but um, I'll have that posted for you later as well too so anyway long-winded one today uh, hope you had a good weekend if you have any questions comments concerns Feel free to send me an email. Otherwise, have a great week.